Welcome back. Today I'm going to try to solve some more mate in one puzzles, but you've probably noticed by now that I have a special guest. This is my daughter, Rebecca. She's going to give me some advice, or maybe I will give her some advice if I can think of any. All right, well, let's get right to it. Okay, we are on Lee Chess today, and we're going to click mate in one. All right, now you remember the definition of checkmate, right? Yes. Uh, checkmate is when the king is in check but he has nowhere to go okay like... it can't get out of check all right good okay so in this case we are playing with the black pieces uh this pawn has just uh, captured something i'm gonna assume one of our pawns but maybe one of our other pieces and it's attacking our queen now and remember this is a mate in one puzzle so is there a way we can check uh white's king where it can't get out we have to move one of our pieces to whichever square that you can think of. Well, for example, where can we check them, period? Because they, we have to put them in check for um, it to be checkmate. So which of our pieces can we move to put... A1. The, what Queen be, A1. Queen to A1? That'd be check. Okay, that will be a check. Is that checkmate? Can, um, can they block with anything? Can any of their pieces get in between our queen and their king? No. Okay, can any of their pieces capture our queen over here on A1? No. Okay, and can the king move anywhere to get out of check? Yes. Where can it move? Um, right there. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm just going to point out that our bishop covers that square and that square. Oh, okay. Isn't oh. that cool? Our bishop way down here on H7. So now let me ask that last question again. Can their king move to get out of this jack? Yes. Where can it move? Um, to D2. Here? Yeah. But won't our queen be on A1? Oh, okay. So is that Our check? queen so will be cutting checking. off these squares, right? Yeah. And our bishop will be cutting off these two. So, so it would be checking. Okay. So let's try that. Okay. Got a, we got a checkmate says success which let's see if we can we move the camera view so they can see that it says success right there behind okay but we're back we know they want to see us okay all right well let's click uh, the thumbs up which takes us to the next puzzle okay this time we're playing with the white pieces and they have moved their rook down here and it's protected by their queen okay so where can we move which of our pieces can we move to check them and make sure that it's checkmate um, queen f7? Here? Yes. Okay. Because if it, because it can't take the queen. Right. Because that would. Correct. Good. But can they, and we, I'll just go ahead and say they can't capture our pieces because of where their piece, they wouldn't be able to capture us there. But can the king move out of check from there if we check on f7? Um, can the king go to h8? h8 or h6 to get out of check so is there a better place we can check where they where they cannot get out of check can we check from a place um, that would cover both of those squares wait well i'm thinking f8 f8 and now the king could not escape to h8 or or h6 because our queen looks at both of those squares right okay very good that's two in a row let's go ahead and do another one I figured we'd probably do about 10 or so. Does that sound about right? Yeah. Okay. Very quick. Um, no, we're, see, we, we're never sure why the opponent did what they did, and here they've just moved their rook to, behind their king. We're not sure why. It was here, then it went over there. Not sure why they did that, but that, we know from the way the puzzles are constructed, leaves us with a checkmate. Okay? And, of course, we're, we picked mate in one, so we know that there's a mate in one here. Um, whereas a normal puzzle you wouldn't know, but this one we're specifically choosing made in ones. So we have several pieces. Uh, this one, like for example, cannot check the king, so that's not it. But is there a place where we can check the king where it can't get out? What checks do you see? Mm. Oh, G6. Queen G6. Here? Okay, do you see any problems with that check? For um, example, the could... king can take. Okay, yes, the king could capture there, so that's not checkmate. Also, the pawn could capture there, right? The f pawn. Okay, so is there a better place uh, to check from 
And we can make this simpler by just pointing out that the rook can't check right now, right? It, the rook, its own pawn is in the way. And this rook can't check in any way right now. And the bishop obviously cannot check because the king's on a light square. So the only piece we have that can check in this position is our queen. So the, there are several checks, and I will just mm. say what some of them are. This is a check. F5. This is a check. This is a check. This is a check. I think those are all the checks available to us. So one, um. two, three, four. And we've already said why this one's not correct. Okay, so what's the problem with this one? That one would be protected by our bishop. So, but what's the problem with this check? Queen mm. captures h6. No. I'm not, not necessarily that there's a problem with it, but how is it not checkmate? Or is there a way that it's not checkmate? Because maybe that's it. Let's just eliminate them one by one. We, we already eliminated that one. Right? Because the pawn or the king could just capture. So what's the problem with... Is there a problem with queen capturing h6? There's not a problem? Okay, none of their pieces can capture. But can they get out of check? If we, if we capture there. Yeah. Right? Okay. So... What about this one? Queen to f5 check. Is there? Can they get out of check? Or can they capture our queen? Um, eight. Right? Yeah. Or here. Can they capture our queen? Okay. So we've eliminated that check, that check, and that check. What was the other one that I said? Do you remember? No. What about that check? Can they get out of that one? Um, no. Yeah. Because they, is there any piece that can capture us there? Their queen can't because it's cut off, right? And our queen would be hitting all of those squares. If we check there on f7, they can't get out of check, right? Okay. So let's go there. Okay. We got it. And you see how this works that you look at the check and then you see can they capture us? Can they get out of check? Can they put something in between? And here, all of the answers were no. So let's click Next Puzzle. We've done three now, and now we're on our fourth one. Okay, they have just moved a pawn forward, which means we are playing with the black pieces. We have a lot less material than our opponent. You've noticed that, right? Our opponent has both rooks. We only have one. And then we each have a minor piece. They also have one more pawn than we do, and it's a passed pawn. Looks like mm -hmm. they're trying to make a queen with it. But because it's a made in one puzzle, we know we have maiden one. Uh, knight b6. Knight b6. Okay. That is a check. But can they get out of it? And we know they can't block it, so we don't have to ask that one. Yeah. Because you can't block king, a knight move. The king can go to... Uh... Correct. The king can go to e5. Also, their rook could capture there. They might, in a normal circumstance, they might not want to trade a rook for a knight. But to get out of checkmate, they would. But yeah, here, here the king could just move here and... Capture that. So that's that's one of the possible checks. And while we're on the knight, this is also a possible check. But of course, either the rook or the pawn could take it, right? Okay. Also, the king could still move out of check here if we checked over there, right? Okay. So are there any other checks? So we've we've eliminated the two possible checks by the knight. What other pieces do we have that can check? And where are those checks? Um, knight f5. Did you, do you mean I the, mean rook, rook. Okay, you mean the rook. Okay, that makes more sense. Uh, did you mean d5? So No, no, you meant f5, sorry. Okay, rook to f5 is a check. Can they get out of that? Or block? Or take the piece? Right. The king can go to... Right. Or they could block with the rook. Okay. So are there any other checks with the rook? We've eliminated both checks with the knight. We've eliminated one check from the rook. There is d4. d4. Okay, and can the king get out of that one? No. Correct. And the reason is because our knight is currently guarding both of those squares, and our king cuts off all of these squares, and those two especially. Their own piece is in the way here, and their own piece is in the way here, and of course the rook would be guarding that square as well, and the pawn would be guarding the rook. Okay. So that's one. That's another one. Is that four or five? I've lost track. Let's click. It shows only four down here. It feels like five. Okay, here we're playing with the black pieces. 54. Okay. I already saw it. Do you see the maiden one here? We're playing with the black pieces. We need to check where they can't get out of it, where they can't capture our piece. Block. Yes, it is opposition. I'm glad you remembered that. 
That's pretty good. Yeah, that, the, our kings are in, in opposition right now, although that usually is only important uh, when the queens are off the board and we're down to just kings and pawns. But here, it does matter that our king guards these squares because we would need our king to protect our checking piece. And, okay, so is the First thing to notice, so I should have mentioned this earlier in the session, and I apologize for not mentioning it. One thing to notice, especially with when you have a mate in one puzzle, or in a game when you think you're about to checkmate but you're not sure, is to notice which squares that the enemy king cannot go to. In this case, it can't go to those because of our rook. Cuts off all of those. It just slices right across there. So their king can't go to any of those squares. Okay? Now, right now, it can't go to this one because our queen is cutting off that square. And, of course, it can't go to any of these because of our king and our queen. Right? So if, if it could be safely checked right now, it would be mate because it can't move. So where can we check it from that it won't be able to move? Right. Very good. Because our king is protecting it there. And because our rook cuts off those and our queen cuts off these. Now, that wouldn't have been checkmate. Why? If we had moved our queen all the way over. The rook is That's a very important, yes. The rook is guarding that square. The pawn would have been guarding this square had we moved here. But here, even if they didn't have this rook, when our queen moved all the way over there from here, it's no longer guarding that square. So even if they didn't have the rook, but if we did that check instead, then the king could escape. So we had to make sure that when we moved our queen, we were still guarding that square. Because the king guarded all those, and the rook guarded all those, the queen was the only one guarding f3. So that's why this it had to be this move. But yeah, okay, good. Next puzzle. Oh, they've just attacked our queen. Can we do anything about that? So we're black, and... So, is this a check with the Well, the queen is helping to cut off all of these squares right now. Our rook down here is cutting off these squares. Our pawn is also cutting off that one. And this rook down here on d1 is also cutting off this square, which is cutting off this square. The queen's hitting that square too. So, right now the king can't move at all, but it's not in check. Is there a way we can safely check the enemy king? while still covering all of these squares that we're covering already. Like, which piece should we check with? Because we know it's a maiden one, so we know we have to check. The but, queen. Okay. But where? Because if we check on this file, that rook is going to get us, right? Anywhere we check here, any of those squares that we choose to check on, that rook's going to get us, right? Okay. And if we use our queen to check here, um. or here, then our queen's not guarding... The whole file anymore. The rook on D8. This, this is... Yeah, that's... Oh, no, sorry. This is D8. We should check with this rook you're saying. Sorry. Um, sorry, that's D1. <laughs> Where should um, we... You, you we mean here? Go... Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right there, right there. Oh. Okay, I didn't... I didn't see. Okay. okay. So... Then... And remember, this rook right now is useful for, for cutting off some, some of the squares from the enemy king. And this queen is cutting off all these squares as well as that one. So what if we could leave those two pieces where they are to cut off those squares and check with something else? Um, the d3 rook. Check where? Can you name this? <laughs> okay, wait. Because right now this rook can check either e3. here or here. Okay, e3. e3? I yeah. agree. That leaves this rook cutting off this whole file and this queen cutting off this whole file and the queen is protecting our rook. Okay, very good. They have challenged our queen here, offering a queen trade. If we take them, they'll take back. But that's not mate. And we know that this puzzle has a mate in one. Which, if any of our pieces can check the enemy king. That's the first, I mean, one thing to note, and I'll just say this right off the bat, is that their own pieces keep the king from moving in a bunch of directions. Okay? I know it's tempting to look at yourself, but I need you to look over here. I know. Okay, so right now, if we could check the enemy king, look how few squares it can go to. Our rook's cutting off this whole file. So, for example, if we were to check here on h7, where would their king go? If we checked here, where would their king go? Their king could go... Oh, they could go right, right? there. That's an escape square. So where could we check that also covers that square? 
right? Because their own, their own pieces are Queen here, G6. and our rook cuts off all of these. So where? Queen G6. Right here? Very good. Okay. Now again, it's important to note which squares the king cannot go to. It cannot go to those because of its own pieces. Now right now, we have two pieces guarding that square, our rook and our queen, so the king can't go there either, right? And our, our knight is also cutting off this one. So can we check that we'll cut off these squares at all at the same time? Well, this piece can't check at all, this piece can't check at all, and this piece can't check at all. This piece can't check. So we know it's a queen move. Our queen's the only piece that can check right now. So where should it check from? Remember, these squares are guarded by our knight, so we could go to either one of those. Um, the, the one, the lower one. This one? Yeah, five. Okay, very good. Be because as our, we said, our knight cuts off that and our knight would be protecting this. And from here, our queen would cut off all of those squares. Okay, very good. Checkmate. Another puzzle. Oh, we got three points for that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so two more. Okay, all right. Now in this one, look what the enemy has done to itself. The opponent has blocked themselves in completely and can't get out of check. So is there a way that we can checkmate them? If this queen wasn't here, I would say go right there, and that would be mate. But the queen is there. Yeah, uh, the way the queen is there. So where should we go? instead? Mm. Also, if the queen wasn't there and our pawn wasn't here, that would be checkmate, wouldn't it? Because the king yeah, can't escape. Can't. But, the, but the queen could block, even if our pawn wasn't there. So both of those pieces would have to be missing for that to work. Um, and the queen would have to be missing for this to work. So is there some other place we can check them? And again, this is a case where we know which piece it has to be because this piece can't check. So well, it has to be the queen. It has to be the queen. None of these pieces can check right now. So if the queen can't go here, sorry, bad arrow. If the queen can't go here, where can it go to check? It could go, it could go. Why are you smiling? Because I saw it as I soon as the puzzle know. loaded. <laughs> I mean, where my first instinct was there, go? but then I saw the queen, which is why I mentioned it first. But where else can our queen go? That's Jack. I don't see where else the queen can go. Okay. Don't see. Keeping in mind that it's protected by its rug. So is there a place we can check that the queen cannot get to? Because it can get here, but where can it not get to? Because it only goes in diagonals or straight lines. It doesn't bend. Oh, I should take the bishop? Right, because the king is trapped. Okay, very good. One more puzzle, and then we will have solved 10. I feel like the camera is tilted. Isn't that weird? I don't know. Doesn't it look like it's tilted in the view? Okay. Last one. The king has just moved out of check, and our, so our, we know our rook is cutting off these squares, and of course their own pieces are blocking all of these. And our queen is already blocking off this one, and our bishop's already blocking off that. So, so oh, I see it. Do you see it? We're black. We're playing with the black pieces. So if we could, ch if we could check without moving this bishop. Can you give me a hint and tell me what piece? Well, let me just let me lead you to it, okay? okay. I mean, it's my account, so I don't have to have your input, but just keeping in mind, if we can check without moving our rook, because our rook's cutting those off. And if we can check without moving our queen, because our queen's cutting that off, and our bishop's cutting this off right now. So could we maybe, like, is there, if we had another black dark squared bishop, we could check right here and that would be mate, wouldn't it? Not really, because the pawn could block. But what if we could put a piece right here checking them, and it would be defended by this bishop? Um, could put the pawn. It's the pawn? Yeah. Very good. Oh, Very good. That's and that's crazy. pawn to g3. That's me. So good job. Thank you for watching. Can you tell the camera? Thank you for watching. If you've made it this far, comment RCP in the comments. Okay. Well, also, we'll see you next time.